North Macedonia later on. Uh, we also had the opportunity to discuss um, during the meeting as well as uh, during lunch. On behalf of the Republic of Kosovo, I expressed our clear will, but also our clear path towards European integration, as well as membership to NATO. I emphasized that joining the European Union should not only be an alternative, it should be the only option, because as the saying goes, one cannot sit in two chairs at once. So I encouraged all the countries of the Western Balkans to have that path clear, and especially some not to play with double standards. I also, uh, uh, of course, encouraged all the members that were present to join us in countering the malign interference of Russia, as well as other actors' malign interference. And I emphasize that if our part of the world joins the European Union, it is the best message to counter such interference. I called on all the members there, of course, uh, to uh, make sure that we are very clear in rejecting any idea on border changes, because these are very dangerous adventures that should be unanimously rejected by all the countries of the Western Balkans. Uh, you have probably seen the conclusions, but I want to point out uh, that, of course, I did agree with the parts of the conclusions that called for um, a um, uh, joining to the European Union of the Western Balkan countries, However, I will be making an additional statement to those conclusions that will be attached on my behalf as President of Kosovo, and I've informed the organizers respectively. And these additional comments that will be made as a statement uh, to the conclusions mainly focus on a very clear rejection on ideas of border uh, changes, and at the same time uh, make it clear that Kosovo, as an independent and sovereign country, is a permanent project in its current borders and that Kosovo is here to stay. I want to thank, of course, the host, Slovenia, for the organization and both Slovenia and Croatia for their willingness to bring all of this together uh, in order to discuss the prospects of joining the European Union. I fully supported the calls of the hosts to have um, a, a quick answer and, of course, support for uh, opening accession talks for North Macedonia as well as for Albania, for both of them at the same time. But at the same time, we emphasized that it is about time that the European Union grants visa liberalization for all the citizens of Kosovo because we have fulfilled all of our commitments, we have fulfilled double the amount of criteria compared to any other country in the region, and now it's about time that the European Union fulfills its uh, promise. Uh, once again, COVID-19 pandemic has shown that regional cooperation and multilateralism, la la multilateralism, I apologize, are the way forward to tackle problems that all of us are facing, not just in our region, but all around the world. And I do hope that sincere cooperation, honest cooperation, is the way forward. That is why at the meeting today, I spoke very honestly and openly, because that's the only way forward. And when speaking honestly, it's about time that our region seeks and instills justice. Only when there is justice for all the victims will there be peace and reconciliation. For that reason, I ask for justice and for the perpetrators of the crimes against the people of Kosovo during the Milosevic regime to be put behind bars and for, uh, of course, uh, to have answers for almost 2,000 missing people from the Republic of Kosovo from the latest war, because only when there is justice for all of them will we be able to enjoy peace and prosperity to its fullest. Thank you. Please, if you have questions. Uh -huh. uh, so Mr. Bucic said that you had uh, a very interesting uh, first uh, meeting and conversation. What do you think? Um, I think it is very disappointing that in the 21st century, um, and after so much bloodshed and too many victims in our region, that there are still leaders who are protecting 
the mindset of Milosevic. It is very disappointing. We're in the 21st century. There should be no place for genocide deniers and there should be no place for history revisionism in our region. True leadership, courageous leadership, requires that we utterly reject both denial of genocide and we also reject history revisionism. And I was clear in making these messages in that meeting as well. I will be respect from dialogue. Uh, the dialogue, as you know, uh, might continue sometime in June. We still don't have an exact date, but Kosovo has shown to be the constructive party uh, once again, as it has in the past decade or so. Uh, for that reason, the Prime Minister of Kosovo will represent the Republic of Kosovo at the table. We wish to be, we want to be represented in this process on an equal footing, always by protecting the truth, by telling the truth, and ensuring that the process is one based on which the citizens will be the final beneficiaries. Of course, we will require answers for the almost 2,000 missing persons from the war in Kosovo because we believe that is the top priority. Uh, we will expect, of course, the High Representative Borrell to set the exact date in cooperation with both parties for some time in the second half of June. So what's your opinion about, uh, you said something before, the uh, uh, latest newspapers? <laughs> um, when it comes to the non-papers, it is very important that we have self-confidence and that we believe in our own positions. And I want to reassure everyone that the position of the Republic of Kosovo is, as I explained earlier, one that rejects every uh, border change and one that recognizes, recognizes the current borders of the Republic of Kosovo. And for that reason, of course, it will not be the non-papers that will push our agenda. We, as the representatives of the Republic of Kosovo on the table, the dialogue will push the agenda that is not just in the, in the interest of the Republic of Kosovo, but also in the interest of peace and stability in the region. And as we all know, the only way to achieve that is by having Serbia recognize the independence of Kosovo, which is an irreversible reality. Thank you all. Thank you.